A six-month-old shot during a night of terror inside a Liberty Township apartment. Thanks a lot for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Today, the grandmother at the center of all of this was sentenced to prison. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson live for us in Hamilton tonight, where she actually got to meet that baby for the very first time. Hi there, Karen. Yeah, hey, Sheree, you know, even Judge Dan Hoy said today the hand of God is the reason baby Myra is alive today. Baby Myra is 18 months old now, and for the first time since she was shot almost a year ago, I had a chance to meet her. Say, this is my little miracle. Miracle Myra. At just 18 months old, her story is one of strength and survival. Last December, Myra, who was six months old at the time, was shot in the head by her paternal grandmother, Mia Harris. Harris previously pleaded guilty to aggravated assault. But what you did will never go away. She will never have a grandma again. You took that from her. You took me having a mother-in-law. You took everything away from me. During Harris's sentencing today, baby Myra's mother, Destiny Buffington, reminded Harris of the terror she caused that night inside their Liberty Township apartment. And I had to plead for my life, and then you shot my daughter in front of me. That will never go away. And I stand here today 10 times stronger than the woman I was a year ago. Standing in court with a stack of what she called souvenirs. This is my daughter's gown when she left the hospital. Destiny shared unimaginable challenges they faced this past year. I have lockets of my daughter's hair from multiple surgeries because I never knew if I was going to see her again. Myra spent 65 days in the hospital and underwent three surgeries with more on the way. She has seizures for the rest of her life. Those will never go away. Myra also faces a lifetime of special needs. Myra has a shunt because she does not drain the fluid on her head properly. This is a shunt. What Myra does have the strength of a mother's love. They don't even know how she's alive right now. You hear that? That is just God, and I know that you know that just as much as me. And I pray for you, and I really pray because I don't know why you did this. And Harris's attorney today said mental health played a role in the shooting, saying she had a breakdown and just snapped. But prosecutors pointed their fingers at substance abuse. Judge Dan Hoy sentenced Mia Harris to 9 to 12 years in prison. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thanks for the update.